So here's my car on the dyno. It looks like he's just figuring out the software as he doesn't tune too many cars on ECU masters. But he is an amazing tuner, so I have no doubt he'll figure it out. Um, they use Dynapack dynos. So they're hub dynos, but they are calibrated to act a lot like a roller dyno. So the number is not going to be much higher than um, a regular roller dyno for anyone out there. All right, looks like he's going to get into it shortly, so I won't be able to talk anymore. But I'm going to try and film some of the full pulls, the high horsepower pulls. And we'll also show you guys some of the cars in the shop, as there's probably five or so cars with over a thousand horsepower in the shop. So stay tuned for a very cool video. So what you just saw there and what he'll be doing for a little while is just some steady state tuning, nothing for power yet, just going through the RPM range and getting the partial throttle tune really ironed out. And I'll film a little bit of it because it's kind of interesting, but I'll mainly turn the camera off until we get to the big power run. So we're starting to do some power runs by the looks of it, just to when the wastegate opens up. So here we go. Oh so my car right now. It looks like it's getting cooled off and just a few little upgrades. So let's take a look at some cars that are here. Left hand drive, twin turbo six speed Supra. I think this one makes around 750. Let's go over here. Looks like we have a K-swapped Civic hatchback. And a, oh, intercooler. Maybe turbo in progress probably. Up here we actually have a like a 90s Camry with the twin turbo V6. I think this guy makes around 1,030 to the wheels. This is the Tuner's personal Supra, left-hand drive, twin turbo, six speed, of course. You can see the turbo poking through the hood. This car, I think, makes around 1445. That's not a guess, I just checked on their Instagram. Their Instagram is Dyna Motorsports. Give them a follow. There's this 240 that's been here forever. Here's a Supra with the hood popped. I'll let you guys admire that for a second. Turbo's bigger than my torso. Upgraded coils, big intake, massive throttle body, just the whole works. And of course it's left-hand drive, which just makes it that much more desirable. Some pretty cool wheel and brake setups. My guess is that none of them are reps and they all have big six or eight piston brakes. Let's get a sweet shot of all these Supras plus my car. Ta-da! My car is almost as cool, right? Yep. And then we have this boat back here. If anyone's into this, please comment. I'm just gonna show you guys, not my thing. And then there's the back of the shop. Probably won't show you guys too much of that. Don't know how much he wants you to see, but Pretty much just two J's laying on every table available. And then outside the shop, there's a Lexus IS, a GTR, and Ali's RSX. A little update here. This uh, K20 Civic hatch is actually supercharged. We started following the intercooler piping, and there's the supercharger just down there, and it already has a header on it. It's got pretty much every cool K-series part you can think of. Looks amazing. Not the fastest car here, but it'll probably blow your socks off nonetheless. I love it. Just a little uh, brake and tire setup on the Camry.
pretty close to finishing the final power pulls. It is above 500, but I'll save the total number, the final number till the very end. So my car just finished tuning. And the good news is, is it didn't blow up. And I think the final number was 518 to the wheels. And I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully if there's a good weather day, we can get to some driving. So next let's move on to Ali's RSX. All right guys, so we're here the next day. Uh, we got back home around 2 a.m. or 1.30, no, 2.30, something like that in the morning. So we went straight to bed. I didn't really rip it much on the way home since it was snowing, but the final numbers, if you follow us on Instagram, you would have known, uh, were 520 wheel horsepower, with the limitation being the pump gas, 91 is what I had in the tank. So I'm pretty happy with the numbers. Obviously, it could have made a lot more with race gas and a few other small things, but I'm trying to keep it a nice daily driver. So what we're going to do now is warm it up and then take it for a rip down the road and we'll film the in-car acceleration to compare with the video the other week of freshly installing the non-tuned turbo. All right, let's go. So we're stopped now and I'm going to get it up to a roll. Then once I shift in second, I'm going to punch the throttle and hopefully you guys can get an idea maybe with a little little bit of the RPM and everything of how fast it goes. All right, here we go. First gear doesn't do much, so I'm just going to shift into second. Are you ready? Yeah. second gear right now unfortunately um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll turn around because that's probably the straightest stretch and I'll do another quick pull maybe in third gear this time and uh, hopefully not lose traction all right we're gonna do a third gear pull right here from about 60 kilometers an hour So I think we got that last pull on camera. I put it under pretty heavy load and it hit the full 20 PSI and it blew off this little coupler. So that's gonna be the rest of the ripping for tonight since I have to reinstall that. But I can assure you there's gonna be lots more ripping videos in the future. So I'm a little upset that I waited the whole season to tune it because now I have a perfectly, well, almost perfectly tuned running car and pretty much gonna go in storage in two days because it's gonna start to snow where I am. So that's a little upsetting, but it means that first thing in the spring, I will have this thing ready to drive, go to maybe drag racing, drifting, whatever I wanna do with it. So stay tuned for that. This isn't the end of the Aristo by any means. I'll be working on it this winter. And let me know if you guys wanna see any other videos, but this car is getting really close to a, uh, a point where I was envisioned it. I'm going to be doing some carbon fiber interior and trim pieces, so stay tuned for that as well. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.